listening to one of my students last night, and it uh, brought back some uh, old memories. And one of the uh, things uh, I thought of last night that I haven't thought about in forever was when I brought Kichin Fonokoshi's book, and I was reading it, and I thought this was going to give me like, all the knowledge to karate, and I was going to be the man, you know? One of the things in the book was make arms and legs like sword and spear. Being young and couldn't really understand uh, what he meant. I took it as very, very literal. Sword hands, spear hands. Great. How do I make my legs like spears? Uh, I can't really cut. It's more than I'm hitting someone. I'm not cutting someone. Totally didn't get it. I was a, pretty much a rockhead and probably still am. Years later, going back, rereading the book, knowing more about the man, I un understood that he was a poet now and a writer. And what he was saying, it wasn't make your hands, sword hands and spear hands, it was make your body a weapon. And when I came to that understanding, I then understood some of the training, some of the old ways of training that we did, which I always thought was uh, really hard. Maybe when I was younger, maybe a, a little cruel, uh, or my teachers were a little bit crazy, but I understood it now. So we had to make our bodies the weapon. We don't. We're, we're, Karate is an empty hand uh, martial arts. So when we go outside, we don't have weapons with us. We just have our hands, our knees, our elbows, our body, our head, teeth, whatever we need to survive. But when, you know, what you have to realize, if you get into a fight, you're gonna get hit. If you get attacked, you're gonna get hit. So some of these old ways of training really you're not done today uh, or really really vital to your karate and where I understand for safety we you know everyone with the gear the headgear the, the train with pads and, and chest protectors and yeah the, the, I, I get it I, trust me I do but we don't have that stuff outside so you have to train your body so what I'm going to show you here is some of the old ways of training uh, that I still do, that I still teach, uh, and realize is not cruel. I'm not that crazy, but it's the condition your body. So if you get hit, or if you are attacked, and you get hit, you can not fall not be shocked you can then take it and you know counter it and like i said and what we train for you can get home safe because that's the goal we're not here to win we're here to uh, get home safe to our loved ones every day all right so i'm gonna shoot the video now and some of uh the old ways of training that i still love and uh hope someday my students do all right. Well, one of the training methods that I think uh, scares a lot of new students, uh, kids and adults, maybe even adults more than kids, uh, is falling. And I say it all the time, you need to learn how to fall to survive training, right? I really just want to put an emphasis on that because when we train, and we hit the mat, we got to get used to uh, the impact outside. Someone hits you, you got to get used to the impact. So we do basic falling. It's like a body mocking bar, it's a body conditioning, but it also teaches us to protect ourselves in the dojo and outside the dojo. Because some of the moves we do horizontal, we can also do vertical against other objects. But that's a whole different lesson. So one of the first things we teach is front blocks. So we condition our forearms and our body. Now, besides just falls, it's also a great stretch out. 
stuck. A forearm for when we fight, or if we have to block, or if they just get hit in the middle of the fight, I'm slamming it against the ground. It gets tougher. It's, you know, it's, it's like a crashing push-up. It gets you stronger. Then we also train side fall. Again, I'm crashing my body into the ground, but I'm also learning how to fall to keep myself safe. If I got knocked up against the wall, I don't crash with my body. I protect it first. It can be inspired. Then we have back fall, same thing. Get knocked backwards. I learned to protect my head so it doesn't smash the ground. But again, condition. Do the fall quick enough, it's aerobic condition. The impact is condition. The strength it takes to do it is condition. Right? You're making your body a weapon. Here's one that I don't see many martial artists really use that much as more. Ah, and these are little steel rods, but again, I need to condition my body to take a hit. So, you gotta toughen up. I get into horse stance, conditioning my legs to getting stronger, all right? It's like isometric squat, all right? I can go up and down all day. I can just do this drill without conditioning my legs, but why don't I do both, all right? Not my way, it's the old way. showing you just a, a few of the exercises really, really quick. I would hit myself or use this tool a lot longer. My legs. Outside of my legs. Anything that can get hit. My stomach. Learn to condition your body. Breathe. No, it's not crazy. Might look a little off. But you can take when fighting or being attacked. And you go out. Or you cringe. Or you do any of those things. You've given your, your opponent uh, or your attacker an opportunity. Here, get hit. Uh, a lot of my students, uh, a, a, a running joke years ago, because of my little, my little belly here, uh, I joke around and I call myself padded steel. Because they hit me, but things don't hurt so much because I condition my body to get hit. I don't want to get hit, but I condition it to get hit. So if it does, I don't get rocked. That's key. When you get hit, you get hit, you cringe, or you get hit, and you counter. Start out using staying uh, right there. Making our arms hands and feet like sword and spear. Punching. You start with this, right? And not when you're a kid. Your body is not developed. It's not even older. And from that, we move 
on to Mahiwara. So from now, we move on to the Mahiwara, which is a harder. Not a small man. Uh, but if the teacher has to breathe. Breathe out. Right? We breathe out. So when we get hit, we learn to absorb a shot, to take it, not take it and let it go through us. Learn to use our whole body, our whole frame, all our muscles to send the, the impact everywhere. Uh, kind of like body armor, okay? So one of the ways I still like to train it is I'll come here. I take this 25 pound ball and go here. start absorbing shots. One of the other old ways, and everyone um, thinks it's more for show, for flash, it's uh, raking up so much you want. It's just a test. We condition our body. How strong are we? Can we hit the right target at the right time under stress? It's not about showing off, it's not about this, it's not about that. All, all these things that people think it is, it's not. Can, at the time, under stress, can I take my body, have I conditioned it enough to go through a target? Because when you hit something, you don't hit here. The, 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 the first level, you must penetrate it. And to break wood and, and to break objects, you need to penetrate it. So that's what you're learning. And here it's testing it. Because a lot of times, uh, especially with students, uh, and we, uh, myself goes, oh, no, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right, show me. All right? Now, in the beginning, we start with one board. We move up, we should get the two boards. Right? So now we hit up to four more, right? To me, one of the most powerful strengths is a hammer fist. And I like to use that to teach people to penetrate, right? It happens to be one of my favorite strikes to use, right? No special breathing. Focus everything right for Pick a target, hit a target. Ready? Start. Accidentally, someone will hit you. 
Uh, we'll bump into things. We must make our bodies like swords and spears. Uh, and also, we read another teacher years later to make our bodies like swords and shields. Again, to protect ourselves. Our hands could be the weapons or be the shields. Uh, whichever one you prefer. You must condition your body to take some pain. It sounds weird. It sounds crazy. I know. But this is why the old ways to me are still the best. Alright. I'm going to go finish up my little morning workout of torturing myself and having a good old time. I will finish it up with, like always, with copper. Then go home. Alright? See you guys on the mat tomorrow.